Hold tight, my name's James and welcome to today's PlumberParts.co.uk video. Uh, as I'm sure you've all been aware, I've not actually been all that well lately. It took about four GPs, a couple of out of hours doctor surgery appointments to find out that I'd actually got appendicitis. They've been telling me all along that I'd got gastroenteritis. I was like, no, I don't think so. Apparently, the pain of appendicitis is very similar to the pain of labour pains that women go through. So now when anyone comes up to me and says, you know, you don't have to go through childbirth, I'll say, yeah, but I did have appendicitis. For your information, it's not been removed yet or anything like that, so it's gonna get snipped out hopefully soon. But before then, I've got to go through the joys of a colonoscopy, which for those of you who don't know, is a camera up your bum. As long as the guy or girl looks me in the eyes, they feed it in so they can have a look around my large intestine, I don't really mind. And also, if they let me present the new plumberparts.co.uk video whilst pulling it out of my rectum and then pointing it in my face, I could then go, hello, welcome to today's plumberparts.co.uk video. If you don't want that to happen, then let us know in the comment section below. Uh, remember guys, that it's you who send us in these photos and make these videos possible. If you've sent in a video and we've used it in this one and we've not sent you a sticker, then let us know and we'll send you one out. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you haven't already, then please do subscribe. Remember everyone, to hold tight. Plumberparts.co.uk, honest reviews and advice. So then, first up, and loads of you sent us this little video through, who knew that a tap could sound exactly like a Formula One car? Oh, hey. Yeah, quite amazing, I think you'd agree. Thanks ever so much everyone for sending that one in. It does actually sound like a Formula One car, doesn't it? If any of you find any other funny taps that make weird noises, then do let us know. By the way, we do have quite a lot of photos to go through because we haven't done a Plumbing Disasters video in a while, so bear with us. So first up, Andrew Roberts. Looks like he's found that someone's got a problem with the expansion. <laughs> And look at that, it's just calling around forever. Adam Waring basically found that someone had finished off a boiler on a Friday and not piped up the pressure relief valve. Yeah, lovely mate, so that just went all over the kitchen. Alex Gadnick, or Nick, or Nish, or Nick, sent us through a photo that looks like, well it looks like someone's used every means possible to insulate their tank. Um, it actually looks like a big fat John Candy, if you remember who John Candy is. Kiss the lucky egg. Anthony Reid, let's have a little look at this. He says, just come from the tenant's house after the agency asked us to have a look at the shower. Took us a while to trace the electrics back and found it connected to the back of this socket. Shocking, literally. Mate, cheers for that, absolutely brutal. We see that sort of thing, well, far too often, really. Oh man, I feel so gutted for Brendan Shepherd. He's had a expanding foam explosion. And if you know what that stuff's like, even if you get it on your fingers, it stains your fingers forever. So mate, I'm pretty sure you've just chucked that toolbox away because there's no way you're getting that stuff off, man. Unlucky. Oh yeah, a few of you sent us this one in. Uh, Brian Holmes, yeah, um, he was the one who got in first. Lovely little uh, can there, lots of holes made. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Thank God for uh, ingenuity. Cat Cool Jeffrey has been sent out to a nice straightforward cylinder change. Oh, lucky you. Charlie Billington has uh, found that the boiler's been moved, but the pipes have not been lagged. Charlie, give it a couple of weeks, go back past that place, and if it's just a big torrent of frozen water, like, you know, a huge glacier, then uh, take a photo, mate, and send it in. Cheers. Chris Cowley's taken a photo of the people over the way. I mean, it's not really plumbing related, but look at the health and safety on this side. Um, yeah, it looks absolutely fantastic. I'm really, really pleased that they've thought about this. Um, whoever needs a mobile tower? I mean, who needs to hire one of them out? No one. Clash McCulloch sent us in a photo of, well, is that a concealed system? I mean, I'm not even really worried about that. I mean, it is awful, let's face it. But look at the colour of it as well. <laughs> That's awful. Who would ever go for a colour like that nowadays? Chris Whitelaw must have set this in ages ago. I mean, this is a showing of how long it's been since we did the last Plumbing Disasters photo group. Uh, we will do more, don't worry, up and running to Christmas. Uh, yeah. So he's sent us three, well, I mean, let's just hope that what's coming out of here is just rainwater and nothing else, all right? That's all I'm gonna say. Danny Kay sent us in an absolute beaut. This is absolutely great, I love that. What happens when Del Boy does a little bit of electrics? Then Daffid Roberts comes in as well. Is that how you say it? Is it Daffid or Daffid? I, I really don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. But look at that lovely bit of flu. That's gotta be running through the floor or something. There's so, there's so much wrong with this, it's terrible. 
please get some gas safe people in there to make sure that no one's dead. And again, Dyfid, <laughs> Robert, <laughs> comes in, he's got a little flexi pipe sticking out of the door. Um, <laughs> do you have to stick it back in the down pipe every time the door's open? I don't know. Awful, and thanks for sharing. So now we've got Ethan Hall, lovely lad, um, beautiful, beautiful name, Ethan Hall. Uh, anyway, he says, hey, new to Facebook page, and I've been watching your vids for a while, and was recently on an electrical job. Yes, I'm a, oh. See you later, mate. Fluid Plumbing Solutions comes in with a lovely radiator going through a wall there. Thanks ever so much, Fluid Plumbing Solutions. I hope your Christmas period is going okay. Oh, George Waugh, all the way over from Germany, one of my favourite places, um, and also the current scene for the very, very bad Homeland um, series that's on at the moment. Not really enjoying it. But anyway, uh, this mouse died, apparently, of the flu. <laughs> Jamie Jones then sent us to another death in a flu. Poor little bird. It's just sad to see this, really. Um, Jason Rugg sent this one through. <laughs> I just laugh. Uh, to be honest, I'm not the tallest bloke in the world, so, you know, that'd probably do for me. But also that soil stack going through the... <laughs> Uh, anyway, before we carry on, let's have a quick look at this video. Loads of you sent this one through. In fact, it's been pretty big on social media lately as well. Of what I can make out is some people playing a prank on a plumber. These taps? Yes, leaky taps. Sick of it. Absolutely depressing me at this Whoa. stage. Okay. What have done today? I, I can't do it today, mate. I ain't got the parts. I'll go into the depot and I'll get them to uh, make sure you need two new taps urgent. Right, it's Mr. Moore, isn't it? Jay Moore, yeah, like I said on the phone. So you can't definitely can't do this tomorrow? No, I can't do this today. I'm gonna come back. So yeah, I mean, I think it's pretty harsh what they've done to the old boy there, but I mean, I'm looking back at it and it doesn't look like that punch that he throws to old mate, he actually connects. So I'm kind of wondering if this is fake. Uh, if it ain't fake, it's still pretty harsh. I mean, it looked like old mate was gonna have a heart attack if it is true, you know. I'll tell you what, if someone did that to me, oh, I'd just curl up in a ball and cry. I'd be like, ah, oh, <laughs> Lager or Larger Thompson, uh, he's cleaned out a nice little F&E tank. Lovely work there, young man. Oh yeah, we got sent through this picture by Lewis Smith, who decided that he was gonna lay all his tools out in a lovely, lovely way, pull down his trousers and his pants, and, oh, we'll just move on from there. Mark Bronnen as well, then sent us through a lovely photo of um, some bath taps that have been converted with what looks like, well, basically two outside tap tops. Actually looks quite nice. I mean, this could be the new niche market for the new year in 2016. Mark Hodgson on a roll as well. Apparently, uh, this is how the guy before him attached the towel rail to the wall. No screws. And then at Mass Rail Tub on Twitter, found a spoon that was holding up a <laughs> basin. Murray Price chipped in as well with a beautiful photo. If you're in that shower, why not just, you know, kill two birds with one stone? You're gonna die anyway if you're in it. You might as well get the ironing board out and do a little bit of ironing as well while the shower's living on you. Loads of you sent this one in as well. Either it's an apprentice that's bored, or it's a load of other people that's bored, or it's uh, somebody who doesn't know what an expansion vessel is, or something like that. But what they've done is they've dressed it up as a Henry. Ricky Lawrence in Cyprus has, uh, has also found um, you know, the, in Cyprus, you need instructions on how to use the toilet. Um, don't stand on the toilet and do a poo. Ah, Shane Barrett, you found one of those lovely little ones where you drain the system down. You think, cool, I've, I've tied the ball cock up or I turned the valve off. And then when you go back up there to turn it on again, everything's full still in the tank. You know then you've got that blocked F&E pipe going down to the main pipe, probably connected right near the pump. Next thing you know, you're trying to blast it out and really, you know, just cut the lot out and start again. You're not getting home until after six now. That's just life. Simon Harding found that someone was using a Tesco box or something like that. I didn't know they um, dealt in F&E tanks now or, or systems or whatever. Uh, Power flushing, oh, found this lovely tap. I mean, um, yes. Fluid plumbing solutions, like it. Beautiful little install that someone's thought a lot about over there. Oh, look, Dan Bush, look what you found. Beautiful pipe work, mate. Send us through a photo if you've done all that and sorted it all out. I'd love to see some nice straight bits of copper and plenty of clips, please, dear. 
Tom Bennett, let's hope that's your apprentice, Tom. Poor old boy, what went wrong there? Let us know. Let us know in the comment section below, Tommy, Tommy, Tom, Tom. Um, obviously had a major mare there, unlucky dude. Oh, then Jack Bennett, look at that. Looks like someone wants a sticker. Jack, get a hold of us, mate. You never know, I might even be able to get some plumber parts rubber bones made up. Anyway, we're gonna finish now with Jonathan Samuel McCluskey who sent us through this video. There's a little bit of swearing in it. I'm gonna try and edit it out, but it's you know justified swearing, really. Must have been an apprentice. Well, pretty long for your first time spent in the toilet. I'm not too bad, I'm just trying to sit just like it. Let me see you. Well, you happy enough with it? Oh, that's not bad. It's fucking not bad. Hey, you wouldn't do me anything about it. Close that door the way there for me. So then guys, I hope you enjoyed today's PummerParts.co.uk video. Please do subscribe. Send us through photos and videos to the Facebook channel. I particularly love getting videos. So if you guys have got anything out there uh, that you see that's funny, video it on your phone. It's so easy to do and just upload it to our Facebook channel and we'll see what we can do from there. We are obviously trawling through all the lovely messages and posts that you give us and we do everything we can to get through them all one by one. So, you know, with any luck, we'll get back to you if you're still waiting for a reply on anything. If we haven't replied, send us a message and call us a bunch of bellends. And then hopefully we'll get round to it. Especially if George is there, because George hates that sort of thing. Anyway, I hope to see you on our next video, guys. We've still got loads of stuff to do. Coming up to Christmas period and all that, I bet you've heard the constant usual one that is, can you get this done before Christmas? Which is what I'm getting a lot of at the moment as well. Especially at the house that I did a few days ago where the thatchers have been in, rethatched the roof, and then filled up the f &E tank for the hot water system and also the hot water tank and also all of the hot water pipes as well. So I had a great day at work yesterday. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video and remember everyone, when you look at all this plumbing stuff, there's only one thing y'all gotta do and that is to hold tight. See you later guys and thanks for watching. <laughs> See ya. Plumberparts.co.uk Honest reviews and advice.